Sorry, Sports Network podcast. Tino Fischio installing the portal. With Caroline Walsh. This is Tara Preston. This is Kyla with Penn Sports Network. Have you surprised yourself this year? What was it like when you started out in high school? I can have my quiet moments, but I'm very vocal with you. Yeah, I think it is really being serious. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Penn Sports Network podcast. Today, we're joined by a very special guest, the first softball player to ever be on the podcast, the 2023 PSAC West Freshman of the Year, by the way. Yes. Delaney Patel. So Thanks thank for you for having me. Thank you for stopping by. Um, how's the season going so far? I know you guys are pretty deep into it. Um, you guys have been playing for a while. How's the season been going, and how's it feel being out there for your sophomore year? Um, it's been good. I think we have a lot of talent. Um, we haven't been too hot with the conference play. Um, I'm not sure what our record is. It's maybe just below 500 for um, conference play. But um, yeah, we do have a lot of talent. We just haven't like put it on work. But I think like turning over the conference play should be a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for the back half of the season. I think it's going to be good. So whenever, like you mentioned, when you start conference play and you guys maybe your record isn't as good as you want it to be, um, do you kind of like step back and look at specific things that you can improve on or kind of how do you approach the back half whenever, like you said, you don't start out as hot as you want to? Yeah, um, we've like really like honed in on like pitching a lot. Um, we just like recently started struggling a little bit with like hitting and defense, but like um, just like getting reps as much as we can and like we're all so like transparent with each other mm-hmm. and like just being honest with each other like what we need to do better yeah. um, like fixing like the little things so we can get better um, Coach B's helped a lot with like just fundamentals and like approaches when it comes to like hitting and stuff like that so I don't know it's like it's definitely hard because like our sport is like so much like failure uh-huh. and it's hard to not like get in your head about it sure. but um I don't know we're all just like so close and like honest with each other that it's like easy to like lose like it doesn't feel like it's not the end of the world no yeah. yeah like we all just like have so much fun and like it is just a game at the end of the day and we all have each other's backs so it, like as much as it does suck to yeah. lose like yeah. we still like know how to learn and grow yeah. well and then like softball and baseball like you guys play like five, six games a week sometimes. Mm-hmm. What's it like playing, the, I've always wondered, like, what's it like playing a team on Friday and maybe you lose two games to them and then you have to turn around and, and play them on Saturday and then you can beat them twice. Like, what's that like? We don't we do not do, like, as much as, like, uh, baseball does. So, okay. like, we have, like, a double header. So we'll, like, play, we'll play, like, two different teams, like, Friday, Saturday. Oh, we'll have two okay. games. Yeah, yeah. So um, we won't, like, see them for, like, another two weeks. But, mm-hmm. like, even then, still, you still yeah, like four games. I think days. actually recently we just played slip okay. on earlier maybe last. Week, right? Yeah, it was yeah. earlier this week, and then we turned around and played them on Sunday. Okay. So like we've seen them like four games, sure. like in like a really short stretch. Mm-hmm. So like it's like it's mentally draining for sure. Like especially like pitching, like it is so mentally draining and like even like even though it's not like a taxing sport like it is more mentally taxing than it is physically sure. but i don't know just taking care of ourselves and like like i said like we all have each other's backs and we all know how it goes and like the bad days are bad but like when you have the people around you that you love it's like easy sure. so you wear a lot of sunscreen no not really what yeah no sunscreen? just in my scalp a little bit just because yeah. i have a slicky but um no, not a lot of sunscreen. I'm like... We're always wearing Under Armour's. It's been freezing. Oh, okay. So, oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was out... I think I was at the baseball game on Tuesday, and it was like 7, 5. Yeah, years. there's like only been like two, three games that have been like good weather. And like me, like I burn like real easy. Yeah. Like, I don't know about you. So, <laughs> no. I, um, I'm a little Italian, so uh, I just... I mean, I'm I Italian just... too, but like I, I don't know what it's like from getting to my car to the city. Like, <laughs> I'm burning. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about... You mentioned Coach B... Coach Shauna, right? Yeah. Okay, my phone. Um, when 
did you first meet her? Kind of what were your first impressions of her? Like, did she recruit you? Was it somebody else who recruited you? Kind of how did that work? Um, did you walk online? Like, how did you end up on the team? So, let me track back. It was like. Were you from New Jersey originally? Yeah. Um, it was my senior year. So, my recruiting process was just like weird in general. Okay. Um, but she ended up seeing me in New Jersey. She was in Edison, like a Team New Jersey tournament. Oh, okay. And I've been emailing like back and forth. I went to a camp up here and um, had like a tour and everything. And I had like, she didn't have anything but like a roster spot for me. So I did walk on and then she saw me in the summer. But that was like her first time seeing me play. Like she had, yeah. she had recruited me like solely off like the camp performance. But that was like back in my senior year. My Junior year, I tore my ACL, and I was actually playing basketball, but I'll never play basketball again because of it. But um, I tore my ACL there, and it just, like, messed up my whole recruiting process. And I was, like, trying to find, like, the right fit. Like, all the D1s have been off the board at that point because, like, people were committing, like, junior year. Like, that makes sense for D1. And then... I was like kind of just like stuck, like didn't really know what to do. I knew I wanted, I'm a, I'm a fashion major and I knew I wanted to study fashion. Nice. So like finding a program, like a good program yeah. with also having softball was like, I mean, fashion was like kind of hard, but me and my dad like put like a bunch of like research in and was just trying to find the right fit for the longest time. And then he brought up IEP and the camp was just like such weird timing too. It was like on Super Bowl Sunday and then Valentine's Day was the next day. It was just like weird. Yeah. And I'm five hours from home. So So you came here like in the middle of your senior year then to do that camp? Yeah, it was wow. February of my senior year. Interesting. And then after after the camp, she had told me like you can walk on. Um, I applied and then I ended up committing like March of my senior year. So within like a month. Yeah. So before you came to that camp, did you like even know about IEP? No, not okay. at all. Like, did you was, think it was Indiana like to say? Because a lot of people yes. aren't from here. I've heard, I've that. also heard of like IUP UI. That's, I'm That's not sure like what that is. A D, it's a D1. I forget what conference okay. they're in. Yeah. But I was like getting confused because okay. I thought this was sure. the place. But yeah. no, it wasn't. Um, a lot of like, yeah. you might be surprised at how many people like. I mean, every, every like uniform that. says Indiana or sure. like. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the same colors too. So when you said like you were emailing coaches, like how many coaches did you think you emailed? Whenever you were like being recruited, yeah. Like other schools, like were you reaching out to like a lot of people or was it kind of like a short list? Or it was like. Was it like local schools too? I wouldn't, it wouldn't, it, mm, local no. Yeah. I think because like finding a good softball program sure. and also having fashion was hard. So sure. like my radius was like a little bit bigger. Yeah. But um I I would say like maybe like seven or yeah. eight, nine like D ones before I started looking D two. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah. So you play basketball, you said. So mm -hmm. the softball was your number one. Yeah. Um, I also played tennis in high school. Oh you played tennis. Yeah, so I was I played tennis in the fall, basketball in the spring. Yeah. In the winter. And what position you play in basketball? I was a point guard. Oh, you were a point guard. Yeah. yeah. Were you like, like more like a? I was one, two, and three. I was oh, okay. Like yeah. you're like a bucket getter, like a yeah. Assist getter, like yeah. I would say more like I would bring the ball up sometimes, but like okay. maybe like yeah. more a two, three. So we were just yeah. we were talking about it in the office a little bit ago. I'm interested to get your take on this. Do you know what the difference between a basketball player and a hooper is? It's okay. A basketball know. player just happens to play basketball, but like a hooper is like an athlete that plays A hooper is like, do you watch the NBA? A little bit. A hooper is like more like a smoother, like car, like mid-range shots, like you know, real smooth game type of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, sorry, basketball is <laughs> not the main sport. So when when did you start kind of playing in softball and just sports in general? Was it from a young age or how did yeah. that start for you? I always been around sports, like both my parents were athletes. Sure. Nice. Um, but my dad like loved baseball and football, mm -hmm. so me and him were like always just like playing around. Like I was playing t-ball when I was a little soccer. Yeah. Um, but I think it like I think it really like set in that I wanted to play softball at school. It was like maybe like 
eighth grade, okay. freshman year. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I always knew I had it, but like, yeah, yeah I would say like eighth grade, maybe even earlier. I'm not sure. But was there like a moment when you realized like, well, so when did you? So you said eighth grade is around when you mm-hmm. decided that you wanted to play like at the next level, like yeah. start college. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, that's really early. Yeah. But <laughs> was there like a moment where you realized like, okay, like, okay, I want to do this. Was there another moment where you realized like, okay, like this is a real possibility. Like I can do this. I feel like it all set in like my freshman year, probably. I didn't play my sophomore or junior year, like sophomore year for me was COVID and then junior year was my ACL. So like it really like, I was, I only played two years of high school ball, but I was like also really successful my junior year. I'm sure. sorry, my freshman year of high okay. school. So I feel like I don't know if you're good at something. I feel sure. like you should just continue with it. But um, yeah, I think after like my freshman high school season, it really like set in that like I can I can do it. So it seems like you kind of had a very interesting career in terms of softball mm-hmm. because like you said, you only played two yeah. seasons and like. Well, that year, that COVID year, I remember, like, the spring sports really kind of got, I mean, did you, did, were there any games at all? Like, maybe, like, a game or two, and that I was think, it? Or, like, I think we maybe got shut down, like, I remember my school, practices in. Oh, so you didn't yeah. even have any games. Yeah. Because I remember at my school, like, they had, like, a track, I'm from Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. okay? they had, like, a track meet that had, like, got canceled, like, maybe a week before that COVID had happened. And then, like, yeah, I remember the baseball team, because I, I went to, it was called Sarah Cali, you probably don't know about it, but their baseball team was, like, really, really good. Like, they were supposed to be really good. And, like, I remember how, like, how upset they were when they were seeing the yeah. school. But, I mean, what was that like for you when you found that out? Because, like, I played basketball, so our season had already been over. Yeah. Like, what was it like for you? Um, it must have been tough. Yeah, it was. Like, coming off, like, we, my senior, oh, my sophomore year, like, nice. coming off, like, being a freshman, being so a freshman successful. like I was like so like excited. Sure. And our senior class was so good. Like we could have been so good. So I was like, yeah. I mean, it was a while back, but like uh-huh. I can definitely feel like I would have been really like upset. Yeah. But like, I feel like I don't know. It was probably like a lot of sadness, yeah. like a little you know, angry for a little, whatever reason, sadness because something that you were looking forward to so much, like, yeah. just like that. And really all within, like, you know, if you remember but, that time, it happened within, like, a week. Maybe they were, like, maybe two okay, weeks. no, like, school for yeah, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And then it was wraps for the don't rest even of get, Don't even get me started. Don't exactly. even get started on the on okay. emails. Um, so when you tore your ACL, like, sorry to bring up, like, a bad memory, no, but fine. kind of, how did it happen? Like, was it in a game? Was it in a practice? Yeah, like, it was in a game. Did you know right away, like, how did that kind of happen? Um... So it was like, I'm trying to think of the game it was. It was maybe like our conference, like playoff game, maybe like the semifinal oh, game. Oh, no, so it was late. Yeah, it was like late in the season. Um, yeah, I had like a steal mid court, and then I was going up for like an uncontested left handed layup, and she just came out of nowhere. And it just buckled like I yeah. knew the second like it happened like I feel like every person that I've talked to sure. that like has had something happen like that like just knew in that yeah, instant absolutely. and I was like my dad was watching oh. I was like I knew the second it happened so you like landed on a weird like yeah. came down it definitely buckled like it buckled snaps like yeah. I was like pressed up against the padding against sure. the wall just like thinking about oh, it no. I don't yeah. think I don't even think I cried <laughs> I think I was just like, I think I cried in the training room just sure. because it like sunk in, yeah. and I was like, bro, it's wraps. Well, and lower body, <laughs> and lower body injuries are tough too. Like I tell everyone that but I broke my foot last year. Mm-hmm. I played hockey, and kind of like what you said, it was when it happened was I had stepped on someone's stick, and I could not walk. Like yeah. any pressure on it, like I felt it, and it was like what you said. It was like instantly I was like, okay, this is different than any other yeah. injury that I've ever had before. And what was your recovery like? Did you have to have surgery like? I mean, ACLs, those are like, yeah. you're not it was pretty. Months. It was pretty extensive, but sure. I think I moved, like, I moved along pretty well, Okay. actually. Um, I had surgery, I had, like, a little bit of prehab. I mean, yeah, prehab. prehab. Like, prehab? you, like, oh. work the muscle before oh. you have surgery. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah, I so, um, I had a little bit of prehab, and then I maybe had, like, surgery 
three months after, like, I actually, I'm, no, did I say three months, three weeks? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Like, it's three months. <laughs> three again. months after the fact. Okay. And then um, that recovery process oh. was terrible. Sure. I was on, like, meds, like, bedridden. Like, I think I finally got, like, started, like, moving on crutches, maybe, like, I'm blanking on the timeline, but I would imagine, like, maybe, like, a week, two weeks afterwards. Uh, Okay. And then once I got going, it was maybe I'm sorry, a month. I'm sorry to get PTSD because for me, like, I had surgery two and a half weeks after. Mm-hmm. And I was in, like, a solid cast, which, you know what that is? It's like, it's like a cast, but it's, like, not. Have you ever had a cast on board? A cast is, like, hard plaster. Like, like yeah. the soft cast, is, you know, it's just, uh, it, it doesn't, like, mold anyway. I had oh, that okay. for three weeks. And then I had a hard cast for three more weeks. And then I was in the poop for like a month. So by the time I could like, and I, I don't know how much of a difference the recovery is for like foot or ACL. Mm-hmm. But for me, like I couldn't walk for like probably three months by the time. Yeah. How long did it take for you to be able to walk? Were you riding around with a knee scooter? No. Oh, you didn't have a knee scooter? <laughs> no, I had crutches for a while. Oh, uh, okay. Was crutches crazy. are tough too. And then like, we were like, still like, not like fully in school. So sure. like, we were virtual sometimes. Okay. So I was like doing school from home, yeah. so I wasn't walking around as much. Yeah, so that um, worked out for you a little Yeah, bit. it did. Yeah. Um, I think all in all, I was like not cleared for like five months. Dang. I think it's usually, it's usually like six to seven. I was going to say, yeah. But like, I feel like I kind of worked through it fast. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know, I feel like athletes always heal faster sure. just because yeah. we're more fit. But like, well, except for me. It's a good one, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, all in all, like probably five months. I was definitely like hesitant getting back to everything though. Like it was so scary. Like I think I wore my brace. Like I have like, mm-hmm. I literally still have it in sure. my room. Like yeah. I think I was wearing my brace for maybe like a year afterwards and you're not, like you really don't have to. Like I think it's only yeah. supposed to be like six months, but like I was so paranoid. I didn't want anything to happen. How long did it take you to like get your confidence back out? Like, so did you never play basketball after that? No. So you just... I just chalked it my senior year. Okay, so then you yeah. just went to softball. Mm-hmm. Did it, was there like a a learning curve um, for you now that you, you know, with your, with your injury? Or were you kind of just like, once you got right back into you? A little bit. Yeah. But I think it was more just like being cautious. Sure. I think like everything's like muscle memory with our sport. Yeah. So like everything came back normal. It was definitely like weird hitting. Mm-hmm. Um, just because there's so much like sure. power involved, but um, I think it was more. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Like feeling a ground ball was weird too. Sure. Just moving laterally, mm-hmm. and like I'm, I still struggle like moving side to side. Like sometimes just because pain's involved. Yeah. But um, a little bit. I think it was, I was more just like scared sure. to have it yeah, again. Certainly. Like I knew I was capable yeah. of it. Like I've done it. Like, I've played softball my whole life, but, like, I don't know. Well, it's definitely is, just is a little scared. The one thing I started to realize, like, is it just me, or do you, like, watch people, like, on TV or, like, play sports and see them do something? Mm-hmm. Like, dang, like, how do they not, like, yeah. how do they not break their foot on that? Yeah. Like, how do their ACL not, like, do you ever, do that Yes, yes. Or, like, when it does happen, I just, like, quiver, yeah. and, like, it makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. Um. So, you play third base and catcher. I, That's what it said on the website. I just, caught last year. Okay. Um, she, Coach B, I'm not sure like how it ended up working out, but she didn't have a catcher okay. like coming in the next year. Yeah. And I had caught like a little bit okay. um, like before coming to school, sure. and I was hesitant getting back into it because of my knee. Definitely. But um, it ended up working out. Like I think I caught like majority of the games back there last year but this year I started at shortstop mm-hmm. and um my confidence like wasn't really there a lot I played shortstop in high school okay but like playing at the college level is a lot different sure um so like my confidence there was like a little bit low like fundamentally I wasn't mm-hmm. that strong so she put me back over to third I awesome. split time at third and catcher last year so and I played catcher for my travel ball team like all growing up so I was like really comfortable there so I've been there since, and it's been good. So, in the different positions in the infield, like particularly like third base, second base, and shortstop, how 
is it like a major difference in terms of the building and like the strategy that goes into it depending on what part of the build is like yeah the new school you have to step i think like middle of field like second and second and short definitely sure. like you have to like it's all about like angles and yeah. like timing and like making sure you're going to get the ball rather than yeah. like coming to me and not yeah. but like third you just like react okay and that's i think that's why i do best like i'm yeah. an overthinker sure like to the max so like if I don't have time to think at third yeah. then I don't I don't want to so it's just like it's easy for me just to like build it and throw it over the first have you ever gotten hit by like a line drive or something I actually just like oh, I got no. hit in the chest oh, real bad sure. at Subway Rock like, like was, this past like week yeah oh, like man. it literally Sorry. like she it actually one hopped and then hit me in the chest oh. and I was like I was like short of breath for a sure. second and I was like freaking out yeah. but um, we ended up losing that game, but I was more I was more upset sure. that for the loss than the fact that I was sure. short of breath and down bad. But How quick is like the reaction time? Like, would you say would it have to be like whenever you're in the infield? Like how fast sometimes from off the bat? Game is so like, our game's so fast. That's yeah. what's so different between between the college and high school or just college. softball and baseball. Or just softball and baseball in general. Okay. I feel like you only have like half a second. Oh, that's crazy. Before something that's wild. happens, like, I mean, sometimes they hit it just like softer, and that's yeah. how it goes. But like, sometimes they really get all of it, and it's like straight back at you. Sure. It's kind of scary, but. Do you think a lot of time? Have you ever made one of those? Yeah. Yeah. What's it like being that? Um. Are you like, oh my god, like, like it's in my glove? Like it's okay. Sometimes I do like hesitate. I'm like, oh, it's really in my yeah. glove, but I got it, and then got to throw it over. Sure. But, um, yeah, those are fun always. Like. Just having like my same like my best friend play short oh, right. and she's always there to hit me up right. so it's fun yeah. yeah um so last year so you get the IEP you walk onto the team mm-hmm. and then you have like some success right out of the gate I mean what was it kind of like for you to be on the team freshman and be such an impact player from an early start I mean it seems like it was like that in high school for you too so you must have been a little used to it yeah um it was like definitely weird like finding my place here like I knew. Sure. I knew I was a baller and I was like I'm competent in that That's sense. Nice. Um, but it's just like really finding my place and like like earning a lot of the girls like respect and like that's that's like the biggest part of the team is respect. So like coming in there and just like knowing that I'm a driving force but like also like being humble about it was really important and like just knowing my place and mm-hmm. everything. But after like all the success came, I was just like, this is so surreal. Like, this is like crazy. I was just, I have like, it's it's a blessing, honestly. Like, I'm beyond blessed yeah. to have that happen to me. But um, it was just, I remember like seeing like all like the posts on like Peace Max boards, sure. and, like IUV Athletics, and I was like, I think I literally. The bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I was taking a nap. And I get a call from Coach B, and she's like, congratulations. I'm like, what are you talking about? For player of the year. Yeah. Freshman of the year. Yeah. And then I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And she was like, have you not seen anything? I was like, no, dude. I just woke up from a nap. But then I got on, like, Instagram. Sure. And I saw everything, and I was like, dude, this is crazy. And then, like, a couple minutes later, like, like, PSEC West Catcher of the Year comes out and I'm like, dude, like you were a catcher here too? Yeah. Oh shoot. I was I freshman of the year and then PSAC West catcher of the year. Catcher of the year. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was just like, this is crazy. How did you celebrate? Like did you like go out celebrate and some food? <laughs> go back to sleep? Like what kind of how? I think I don't even know. Yeah. I mean that's a crazy I honestly think I went freshman. back to sleep. Yeah, but like, as a freshman, I think like, I called my dad sure. and I was like, dude, like this is crazy. Yeah. Like I knew like we did good, yeah. but like I didn't know why I did good. Yeah. Yeah. And you hit, I think it was nine home runs, which is, yeah. it's like the fourth most in a single season. Like, Is it really? It's, it's pretty high up there. Like, wow. I, re- I remember last year, I I covered the baseball team, I didn't cover the softball mm-hmm. team, but I remember like when I would like edit some of the articles, like reading the stuff, and be like, dang. So I tell a girl, like, she's here like, all the time. Like, she's a home run, like every game. Um, every game is crazy. It, no, it's funny. <laughs> but anyway, I remember like being like, dang, like, she's really climbing through the ranks. Like, did you, so you didn't even know that you were like approaching? No. Okay. I like, 
I I told you I'm the biggest overthinker, so I just sure. try not to yeah. look you at the stats. You don't even look at stats or nothing? No, I just, oh, wow. I just go out there and play because yeah. even if I did, I would just be like in my head about sure. it. And, like, and even when I had like my exit meeting with like Coach Mina last year, yeah, she was she was just like, I know you did so well, sure. but like you don't have to do this well next year. Like mm-hmm. even if you do like even like if you do like a little less than that, sure. you're good. Like I just need you to like come out there and like lead. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's more my role this year. I'm not sure how like the statistics went this year, but I think I'm Dude. pretty good. <laughs> okay. okay. Um <laughs> I think more of my role this year is just to like lead each sure. and like lead by example more than like any like and what what would you say your leadership style is? Like you said, lead by example, mm-hmm. or are you vocal? Like, and then what was it like going from, like you said, being a freshman, right? Mm-hmm. And earning the respect of the players to now you're in this leadership role. Yeah. Kind of what is that like? What's um, your leadership style, would you say? I would definitely, like, say lead by example. I'm definitely vocal, though. Okay. I think I, like, as a teammate, I just, like, pick people up. But sure. I'm also, like, my personality is, like, very blunt. Okay. So I just, like, I just say it to people, like, I say it to people straight. Sure. But yeah. it's just, like, out of love. Yeah. And, like, Absolutely. I feel like people, like, some people do take it the wrong way. And yeah. sometimes I do come off a little too blunt. But, um, I don't know, definitely lead by example. Yeah. And then, like, your question about, like, last year, this year, um, I was definitely, like, really hesitant last year with, like, how I was approaching everyone because sure. I'm a freshman. We also don't want to overstep. Right? Yeah, I yeah. don't want I didn't want to overstep at all. But like I think this year is a lot different because I had a sort of a role last year and sure. I was just growing into it a little bit more this year. So um I'm definitely like a little bit more like of a leader this year. Um in the same ways that just lead by example, talk people up. This game's like all about confidence. So like I would just never want to like put someone down. Yeah. Just like build them up and like know they got it. Yeah. And definitely like when you talk about like being blunt, sometimes people take it the wrong way. I think it just shows that you care and that mm-hmm. you're passionate about yeah. it. Yeah. And it's like I said, like, passionate, yeah. as long as it's coming from a place of love and like teammates, like I mean from my personal experience, I've had, you know, fights and disputes and disagreements with my teammates, but mm-hmm. As, as long as at the end of the day, you know, you can dab each other up or yeah. whatever, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. kind of realize, like, hey, my bad, my bad, I just care about this a lot, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm, like, very accountable in that sense. Sure. If I do ever step, then I would, I would be the first person to, like, just yeah. take the blame for it. Like, I got you, like, I know I ever stepped right there, like, I'll do better. And that's also about being a leader, like, me and, like, my mom, she told me about this all the time, like, the good leaders, Take the blame. Mm-hmm. The bad leaders deflect. It. Yeah, exactly. Good leaders take blame even when it's not their fault. Mm-hmm. Bad leaders deflect even yeah. when it's not their fault. Yeah. Yeah. Keep up with that. Um, I know the season's coming to an end here. Only got a couple weeks left. But what's the mindset going on? I mean, I know, I know, I know. It's been like you know, it's been up and down road so far. But what's the mindset going into the rest of the season? What what kind of things y'all got to do to make sure you um, end it successful? I think. We just really need to like have everything fall in place. Sure. Like we just need one game where like everything works, like yeah. hitting, pitching, defense. Like we just need one game that all of it works and then it'll just click. But I think we just have so much talent and it's like it kinda sucks right now because our record's not showing how much talent we have. Yeah. But I think we have so much potential and like so like so many people work hard and like one so like there's so much fight on this team. Like, it's actually insane how much, like, yeah. every single girl on the team wants it and, like, wants to win. But it's just about, like, putting everything together. Like, we know we have it. We just need to string it all together. All you got to do is make it happen. Right? Yeah. Okay, what, one, one last thing. What, what's up with, the like, the little chants, like, the cheers that y'all do? Like, <laughs> what about like, it? Like, I... I I went to my first softball game a couple uh, weeks ago, and I was like, you know, that's I, I kind of like those kind of who, who comes up with those. Like, is it the coach? Like, is it the players? Like, how does that? No, how like, do y'all decide when to do what chance? Like, I feel like it's just like a community thing. Sure. Like we've all been doing yeah. those cheers since we were little. Okay. And like, oh, so that's like a no. It's like it's like a thing. It's a okay. it's a softball thing okay. for sure. Nice, nice. Um, 
but like having girls like from like all over, like we have girls from Ohio, sure. from Pittsburgh, like yeah. everyone's been around so many different cheers uh-huh. and we just put them all together. Mm-hmm. But like there's like there's like cheers for like two strikes, for getting a hit, getting <laughs> hit by a pitch, mm-hmm. for walking. Sure. Like there's just there's a cheer for everything and there's we don't have a lot of rhythm, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. They're like the umpires be on each other like like can you be too loud or you can no, just, you like, definitely can. Oh, We're okay. not allowed to like bang balls on buckets. It's really weird, actually. Well, that's We're not like clap. that's not like what's it called? That's like pitch, pitch stealing. That's pitch that's stealing. Pitch stealing. Yeah, you know about that? Like, do you watch like MLB like baseball? Like they were stealing the signs. Oh really? And they would like bang. They would like bang the bat on the trash can. Oh really? They would like watch. Yeah, they would like watch the catcher from. This was like a couple years ago. But they would like. I mean, I don't know if that's why you guys can. I mean, I don't know, know, but that could be a really. But crazy. like, they would like watch the. The, the stream or whatever, they'd see where the catcher would do. And then they would like bang on the trash can. Like wow. one time it was like a fastball. That would make a lot of two sense. Two times it was a curveball. So that might, well, okay. I know that's the last question, but as someone who played catcher, mm-hmm. how hard is it to like know all the signals and stuff? Like, are they pretty basic? Like obviously you're not gonna tell me what the signals are, but like, are they like easy or what? The signals, like pitch like, balls and yeah, stuff like that? Like the pitch balls. Me? Last year we had like wristbands, so like there was like a number chart and okay. like every like there was a series of three numbers. So okay. you just like find three numbers and then that was your pitch. Okay. So you don't really have to like remember anything. Sure. But this year we upgraded and we have like it's kind of Do you have the pitch bomb? No, but I want to try uh, like, that. So that Cal U has that and oh, it's so cool. Yeah. But we have like these little Apple watches that just like pops up with the pitch. Good. Yeah. So it's are, not like an Apple Watch, oh, but like it looks like one. So are you calling the pitches? Is it the coach? Like Yeah, it's Coach B that okay. calls pitches. And then like we also have like first and third situations uh, like that pop up too. Yeah. But it's cool. Do you do like the... Like, no. The, you don't do the... Anything? We... Do you do the practice. fingernails? Do you get the fingernail, the fingernail polish? No, I did not. Uh, I think my nails are too short for that. No? Nah, yeah, right. just bite them. Well, you know, you know like the catchers that do that, right? Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but anyway. Well, is there anything else you want to say? I don't know. If not, it's okay. You don't have to. No, I think I'm good. Are you good? I mean, I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. Well, once again, I appreciate you for coming on today, taking some time to hang out with us. Wish you the absolutely. Wish you the best of luck for the rest of your season. Um, thank you everyone for watching. This has been the Delaney Patel episode, and please come back next week. Thank you.